Okay, but, but we are gonna burn in here. Like, my ass is on fire, dude. My ass is on fire. And I wanna point out something there. We're probably gonna die driving this, and, and I'd like to say one thing. Well, yeah, my ass is on fire and nobody been in it. So, you know, this is a bad thing. This is a bad sign. Well, I don't know that somebody should be in my ass, but anyways. Well, I don't know these things, you know, it doesn't work. So, hey, Reggie, what, what do you think about this car? How do you think it came out? Yeah. I mean, it's nice. Something's seriously wrong with you. Why the fuck would it be nice? This is the like hottest fucking Bentley that like exists. This wheel, this wheel setup is like flawless. What do you mean the it's okay? The reason why I say it's nice is because I feel like this is more for sporty. And I think a Bentley is a low key, subtle kind of smooth dude. This one's a little out there. Children, there comes a time in your life when you have a choice. That time is now. Don't become like Reggie. Be adventurous. Follow your hopes and dreams. Anyways, today we actually, what's, why? Anyways, so today we bought a new car. Uh, yeah, we, we actually did buy a new car. And you know, I've always complained about how fucked up the keys are on things. And this is the key to this new car. Now, this is uh, gonna come as a surprise, but this is the first time I bought something like this. And I'm pretty excited about it because when you're, rich and you get old you get excited by really stupid shit and this is the type of stupid shit you do when you're on the internet at like 2 a.m and the only thing you could be doing is you're either jacking off or you're buying something like this and this is really exciting and we're gonna discover it together for the first time because i kind of looked at it the other day it came in but it's really probably the most impressive car i have ever bought here at exotic car hacks it's costs actually costs less than the rims on this car so it's going to be even more interesting and i've never tried driving something like this so it's going to be a disaster when we try to drive it together but hopefully we can make it work so let's go check out my latest acquisition and this isn't a joke i actually bought this and that's why i said it has to be 2 a.m so you got to be either blind or you know jerking off at the same time <laughs> But this is, uh, I don't even know what you call this actually, which is why it's even dumber purchase than ever before. But I don't even know what it's called. I don't know, it's some Kai style truck or something they call it. The steering wheel's on the wrong side and it's good enough to either carry three Mexicans or 30 watermelons. Uh, so I don't know if you put three Mexicans back here or 30 watermelons, but I'm gonna okay. say since, huh? Oh. Why would we transfer cocaine in this? You have to be richer than this. You're going to take a chance in cocaine. Yeah. It's going to fly off the back. It has to be either Mexican race or watermelons. It can't be cocaine. But if you put three guys in here, they're going to burn because it's really hot in Florida. So we're going to go with the watermelons. I think the watermelons is a better idea. So yeah, anyways, so watermelons it is. Anyways, so you see, there is no keyhole here because the, the key is on the other side. And you, I don't, you'll notice some really interesting things right away. The battery is actually out hanging out here, uh, which I think is a hazard. It's probably gonna kill me. Uh, and these, this bed opens completely. So you might be wondering like, why did I buy this when it's right hand drive, it has a cage in the back and it's usually used in Taiwan to carry chickens or some shit. Well, today I bought this not knowing what it is or how it is because I thought I would turn it into a marketing truck for our What Cars Say book the book which i'm sure you've seen with the sounds whatever he'll put a b-roll in it whatever so you can see it but we're gonna get in this car uh and we're gonna check it out together we're gonna start with the drive because i've never driven a, a, a three speed or four speed i don't know what the fuck this is with the steering wheel on the other side so i don't know how this is going to turn out hopefully we don't get an accident uh but it definitely looks like the type of truck that uh you know you wonder why you bought but let's get in and let's check it out okay ready let's go Okay, but, but we are gonna burn in here. Like, my ass is on fire, dude. Man. My ass is on fire. And I wanna point out something there. We're probably gonna die driving this, and I'd like to say one thing. So your ass on fire. 
Well, well, yeah, my ass is on fire and nobody been in it. So, you know, this is a bad thing. This is a bad sign. Well, I don't know that somebody should be in my ass, but anyways. The, so there's a couple of things we need to notice. The first one is that this isn't a joke. There's actually wood on top. Like, this is a wood roof. So, so that's problem one. Problem two is my ass is really on fire. Like, this car is hot. I don't mean hot in a good way, but this fucking, like, boiling hot. So, all right, let's try to drive stick the opposite way. Man, I really feel like I'm fucking in Taiwan or something. <laughs> Moving shit. Or in the Philippines. I, I felt like the, the glass could actually fall down when that happened. Hold on. Let me put the AC down. Cause I, but it's got a really cool radio, though. It's got a really cool head unit here. I don't know what you do with it. And it says hello and shit. So you, there you go. So we have an upgraded head unit. So And it's got 109,000 miles. 109,000. It shouldn't be that bad. These things should last like 10 million miles or something. Because usually if you're hauling watermelons, I don't think you care. And I'm going to put my seatbelt on. I don't think the seatbelt will fit you. Not being a dick, but I think it's just tight enough already, and I don't think it'll fit you. So I'm sure it will. Pretty sure it won't. I've been in the gym, and it'll work. Oh, yeah. No, well, that's the problem. You show me. Been in the gym, man. Yeah, you're sitting on the buckle. Seconds, but wait, watch this. Hold this for like two seconds. He's sitting on the buckle. Man, I've been in the gym, man. Look, look. I'd like to Talk point this out. Man, you see? Come on, man. Come on, man. I've been in the gym. I, I would like to watch his face as he struggles. Look at the sweat. <laughs> I'm putting on his fucking seatbelt. Okay, bro, this is like brutal. So I'm gonna try this. All right. Oh no. Okay, this is fucked. Holy shit, we're in second gear now. Okay, I've never driven right hand manual, so this is gonna be fucking brutally hard. We're driving, we don't even have a tag on it. Oh, holy shit. I don't even know what fucking gear I'm in, bro. All right, so we're driving this uh, incredible truck, and did I, did I mention that there's a, a, a wooden roof? Holy shit, I'm gonna die. I don't even know which one's the fucking accelerator and which one's the clutch. Oh, you're in the way. That's why I'm not in second. I'm in fourth. Oh, oh shit. It's on the other side. Fuck. <laughs> this is fucked me on the fuck. <laughs> We're going to cause an accident. Are you just turned on the windshield? <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was this. <laughs> this is fucking dumb as fuck. Why do we buy this? The guy behind me is probably like, what is going on, man? It's kind of dope, The black Luigi and the Persian Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Black Luigi. Black Luigi. <laughs> Fucking Luigi. Eight Luigi. <laughs> eight Luigi. We not go, we not go, we not go talk about what you ate. Oh shit, hold on. Alright, that's lap one. Yeah, lap one, we did it. It's like Mario Kart with a Taiwanese chicken holder. And we are we are officially in last place. Yeah, do you think it's racist to talk this to Taiwanese chicken holder? Um I mean, or, not really, man. That's what it is. What if we said it's like to carry watermelons? Oh shit, there's a BMW behind me. That guy's probably like, who the fuck are these guys? Oh my god. Fuck, this isn't going into gear. Alright. I'm in third now. Okay, I'm going 30 miles an hour. Oh, holy shit. What do you say? It has a motorcycle uh, motor in here? Yeah, I don't, bro, I don't even know what it's called. How the fuck would I know what's in it? I, yeah, I heard from other people that it's built on a motorcycle platform, but I'm not sure oh. if that is accurate or not. People looking at us like, we're crazy. <laughs> Some fucking Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're probably going to get pulled over with no license plate. Thing. <laughs> like, there's a Hispanic and a black guy in a car. We're definitely getting pulled over for this shit. Yeah, I do is shoot out a couple bananas. You know, I'm pretty sure I get more pussy in this than any Lamborghini anywhere. More people have asked me, you see, like the way people stare, they're just like, what the fuck is that? And I think that it's just this, it, the cool factor is there. It's just like, it's just, I mean, fuck this steering wheel thing on the other side. Okay, I right. know. Hot place, maybe tell take them, it out. Tell them what it you, smells like. you know what we should do? I, 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 I can't smell anything, so all I smell is your fucking lotion. It smelled like, what, what did it smell like yesterday? It smelled like sweat, but. Now it smells like baby lotion. 
<laughs> Air freshener. It's more like, a, it's more like a dirty western, like a dirty western belt. Yeah. You know, we should give away this car to someone. Uh, just someone. Just somebody's just a, gonna buy it. Though. I mean, some. I've already gotten offers for it. Five k. What would I pay for it? So I, mean, I might fucking sell it. But I'm just saying, we're, we're gonna use it as a promotional tool. I just don't know that we can actually get away with it. Because it's gonna be hard to, and, and it's actually street legal, which I thought it was really bizarre. I don't know how these things are street legal, but it's got a it's got a real title, so it's not like a, you know what I mean? Like it, it can be registered and stuff. I just think it's weird. You can drive it in the main street. Now this one we probably can't because it's. I mean we can, but we're probably gonna die. Yeah, I wouldn't trust you. You wouldn't trust me to drive this on the highway? I don't trust the car. It's Why? Like it's gonna it's probably like explode. Yeah, it's kind of raggedy and shit. Yeah, I mean it's got a fucking wooden roof, dude. And I think at some point it was white. Because you can see like everything here is white. But the outside is this weird teal thing. So I think they painted some of it. But I guess this is the part I never understood about the JDM culture thing. It's like a lot of guys like these old ass raggedy cars and they're like, it's authentic to its heritage. And I'm like, no, nah, this basically meant you're poor. It doesn't fucking work, but I don't know. I figured out where the thing is now. You know, it takes $20 to fill it up, $20. This is the most efficient business tool possible. How long does the gas last? Well, I don't know. It's already a quarter empty, but he drove like 22 miles last night to check. Oh. So I, if I was going to die or not, <clears throat> to make sure that it actually runs. Cool factor is definitely a fucking 10 out of 10. Uh, it gives you this feeling like you're back in the day and you're harboring some watermelons. So it's just an exciting time to be alive. Anyways, let's go park now that we've learned how to drive fucking right-hand drive stick. If I don't kill us. Oh, Holy shit. shit. I'm telling you, every bump you feel like the entire car is going to break apart. This is next level for those of you that have thought <clears throat> I couldn't get cooler, Richard. <clears throat> well, this, this happens. I told you, the only time you buy this is if it's at uh, 2 a.m. If you're either jerking off or buying uh, whatever the fuck this is. So you only have two choices, two ways to do it. Let's take a look at it real quick. Close by and see how much we like it. Ooh, yeah. That's got roll-up windows, too. See, you can see people, and then you roll up, and you don't see them anymore. Should we modify this? What, so you can be electric? No, I'm saying, what? So it can be electric. Why would we modify something to be electric? That's why I'm asking. No, modified means put rims on it, and like, why the fuck would we turn something like this into an electric car? Shit, I don't know what you said, modify. Okay, come on the side with your cool ideas and show them this. This is the coolest dash ever. So first off, we have these bars here, which make no sense, but probably good for carrying stuff. And then look at this, look at the head unit, like how cool it is. That's why I was saying the, the radio is all done up and stuff. It's really cool. You can't be a that, it doesn't matter. Look at the floor, it's got a hole in it. It's been patched. And the car was definitely white before. You see the chest is like white. And everything's falling apart, but otherwise, really cool car. And then you can do some cool shit with it. So you can open this like this. See, and it opens that. And then on this side, I think you open this side. And then uh, boom, look. You now have this bed. And you can go up here. Or you can just basically carry stuff. So there's a couple of things you can do. Either you can roll here, you know, like SWAT team level shit. Like if you're breaking down in a taco shop. Or you can carry a bunch of watermelons and sell them on the side. Or sell stuff, I mean. But I thought it'd be a pretty good promotional uh, kind of uh, truck to use and uh, just get a lot of attention at these events where we go to. So it's gonna need a little bit of uh, repair and shit. I don't even know what tire size these are. Like they're like 10s or something. I don't know. They are 14s. If you've ever seen 14 inch wheels, it's like from back in the 80s, I think. Back then we had 14 inch wheels. Well, we have, I have like 22s on the Bentley, which is like huge compared to this, but Really, really cool truck though. I think uh, a lot of cool ideas. I think again, I, I wasn't drunk when I bought this. I just thought it was a good promotional idea. So there was some thought behind it. But realistically, uh, no other ideology here other than just bored and trying to do stupid shit. Really cool. Uh, you can see some JDM stickers here. I'm not sure if these are original or added after because I've never really been to that side to see what these look like in real life. And I know these can be modded and completely done up and stuff, which I won't spend $5 doing, but nonetheless. Anyways, so in today's Exotic Car Hacks uh, video, we basically unveiled 
my new project, whatever the fuck this is. And we're going to be doing some cool stuff to it. So we'll see over time if we wrap it, paint it. But everything's rusted and fucked up, so we'll have to work on it. And otherwise, I know that's not what you expected. You were like, I thought you would hack a car, not actually bring a hack to the table. But this is true world-class hack. Uh, oh, shit. I think this broke too. Oh, no, it's moving. This, this is just normal. Okay, so it's the tilt. Yeah, so that didn't break. It's just moving. But anyways, it actually works. Just needs a little bit of uh, love and uh, watermelons. And otherwise, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video for exotic whatever the fuck this is hacks. Anyways, like, subscribe, and uh, if you know what this is called, just put it in the comments because I have no idea what these things are called. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.